Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Steve Ko, Terry McKeever and the demise of the win at all costs coach May 26, 2022, 8.00 p.m. Save login, register or subscribe to save articles for later. Share normal text size larger text size very large text size zero leave a comment if you haven't seen Steve Kerr's impassioned plea for change on gun violence in America, you haven't been on the internet for the past few days. Ahead of a crucial NBA playoff game against the Dallas Mavericks, the Golden State Warriors coach didn't speak about the impending contest. He poured his heart out in the aftermath of the slaughter of 19 primary school children and two teachers in Uvalde. Texas. Like so many Americans, he has been left incandescent at the endless circle of violence and the inaction of lawmakers and politicians to control the scourge of guns. Any basketball questions don't matter, he began, before fairly thundering, when are we going to do something? I'm tired. I am so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to the devastated families that are out there. I am so tired of the Excuse me, I am sorry, I am tired of the moments of silence. Enough. Kerr has often spoken about basketball in context of life outside the bubble. This was just another example, sparked by an extreme event, but a reflection of his long-held philosophy that sports matters a great deal. But only within the context of a wider world and greater meaning. In another part of California, Another story involving a high-profile coach in her sport was unfolding. Terry McKeever, the first woman to serve as a head coach of a U.S. Olympic swimming team, was the center of a firestorm after a detailed investigation into her methods alleged a history of bullying, abuse and pushing swimmers to the brink of self-harm. Warriors coach Steve Kerr and star player Stephen Curry credit, Getty she would soon be stood down by the University of California Berkeley as she faces a long list of allegations that painted her as a ruthless authoritarian who pushed athletes to and beyond breaking point for two decades and used them as a vehicle to advance her career. Kerr in many ways is the template of a modern coach who knows the real key to success. However, how that should be measured? is in terms of the advancement of people, not just players. McKeever's methods, on the other hand, are destined to go the way of the dodo. Sports and aspiring mentors should take careful note. The groundswell of change in coaching has been building for decades. The welfare of athletes, physically and mentally, has never been so important, nor has the overarching notion that fulfillment off the field of play often equates to better performance in competition. It can sound counterintuitive. But less is so often more in sport and the best coaches understand the value of space, time and flexibility. In elite spheres, there will always be pressure and the need to be pushed. But failure, big or small, never needs to be the end of the road. In that case, how does a coach like McKeever still exist, even thrive, in a modern environment? You only have to look at the scandals involving gymnastics, or the pushback from more than 1,000 athletes in Canada who have laid clear the toxic culture in boxing, bobsled skeleton and gymnastics, to realize the win at all costs can prevail if strong people don't have the courage to call for change. Those involved in junior sport would only have to look at their local courts or playing fields to find a coach or parent who treats it like an Olympic final or spends their weekends yelling at volunteer referees, umpires or officials. One coach of a youth team in a major winter sport had tattoos on his arm of premierships. He was in charge of the U10S. While elite sport is dealing with an overdue look at the methods employed to succeed, Change is coming from the bottom up. The overwhelming push at the grassroots level is for play, participation and fun. To keep kids in sport long enough for them to decide if they want to start to give it a serious shot later in life. The manner in which young athletes are handled and encouraged along their path is part of a coaching revolution. If it isn't happening at your club, or if coaches are tearing strips off juniors and young adults, you should feel empowered to demand change. Aspiring coaches need to embrace new methods or flounder because the more young athletes call out toxic culture in sport, 
the bolder the next generation will become in the way they expect to be treated. Steve Kerr is the way forward, leaving the Terry McKeevers of the world in the distant past. News, results and expert analysis from the weekend of Sports Center every Monday. Sign up for our sport newsletter. Thank you for reading The Herald. This article is complimentary. Register or log in now to read more articles and unlock extra benefits. No payment required. Read more. Continue with Google. Continue with Apple or email.